Hey there, my name is Promise, and welcome to a game called Exogate Initiative. This is a brand new base building and management game that's going into early access starting today on April 18th. And in this game, humanity discovers a portal to other worlds. We will be building up a scientific base and exploring those new worlds for any wonders or dangers that might be lurking for the benefit of humanity and also for our corporate overlords. The game is developed and published by Xenobits, who are actually the sponsors for today's video. A big thank you for that. Of course, if you guys like what you see and you want to learn more about Exogate Initiative, there will be a link in the description down below. Let's go ahead and start up a new game. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting about Exogate Initiative is the developers have not included a true tutorial in the game. That seems to be deliberate on their end. They give you some sense of direction with some missions, but they want you to explore and kind of figure some things out on your own. Free play is a little bit harder to get started on just because you're mostly dropped into it, but initiation is kind of the closest thing we have to a story mode with a bit more missions to give you a sense of direction. So I think this is a good place to start for anyone who is new into the game. Let's go ahead and play at a balanced difficulty and begin. Hello there, Ruby Cobb. Welcome to our first day as the Executive Officer, or the XO, for the ExoGate Initiative. The world is watching. Fantastic. All right, so welcome to our base. This over here is the great portal that we will be making use of. First things first, though, you see these little guys? These little builder bots, these are going to help me dig out some rooms and get things set up in our base. Because we need to hire some scientists before we can do anything with this game. The game is recommending that the first thing we do is build up some barracks, and I think that's a good idea. So we're going to go down here to the bottom left, where we can choose our infrastructure, and we are going to start digging out some terrain so we can start placing down some new stuff. Uh, I think over here a 3x6 is probably sufficient, so we'll go ahead and place this down here. And you can already see that our little builder bots are going hard at work. They're going to start mining out the terrain, setting down some floor building out the walls, etc. Now from here, we also will be able to choose what is going to go inside of this room. So you can see we have access to a barracks, a mess hall, a laboratory, and a power plant. Eventually we'll be able to unlock a bunch of other stuff as well. For now though, let's go ahead and let these guys dig this area out. And with that done, we can choose a barracks, simply click, drag, and the bots will get to work in laying out the room as well. Just like so. Okay, and when that's done, if you actually click on the room, you can see any objects that you'll be able to place within. So for example, we'll have some beds and we'll have some lockers. I need three of these to start us off. A bed is for your gator to sleep in. Gator standing for the people who will go inside of the gate. So three beds should be fine to start. We'll also place down a couple of lockers. We'll rotate these around, boop, boop, boop. And that's gonna be good enough to kind of get us started. We can always expand this out a little bit more if I need to, but for now, I'm quite happy with this. And just like with everything else, these little builder bots will be able to construct everything for us. Perfect. Okay, and with that done, we also want to start digging out a mess hall so people will be able to get something to eat. So let's go up over here and we'll also set up a quick little mess hall. Something relatively small like this should probably be fine, so we'll go ahead and start digging there. Now, while these guys are working over here, let's start planning on hiring some folks. I want to start up a new recruitment campaign specifically for scientists, though you can see that there are going to be diplomats, scholars, engineers, medics, and soldiers at some point as well. But scientists are what we need to get started. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and say that the maximum monthly wage I'm willing to pay for someone is, let's say, $4,000. Um, I'm willing to have a relatively short campaign of, let's say, only like two or three days. And I'm willing to spend about $4,000 on it. That should get me three candidates. And honestly, three candidates is exactly what I'm looking for. So this should be reasonable. Let's go ahead and get started with that. And we'll dig this all out while we wait. Now, as far as resources in the game, you can see that we do have money up over here. This is our financial status. We started with a fair bit of money from our corporate committee, uh, but we will need to start generating our own funds at some point, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. We'll also end up having science points. We can unlock new features for the base. We'll have power that we're going to be using to uh, power the exogate to take us to new worlds, and then we'll also have something called influence. Not going to worry about that right now. That's kind of a more of a mid to late game thing. All right, with that taken care of, let's go ahead and set up a quick mess hall. Probably a little bit bigger than I really need it to be, but it should be fine for now. And in here, we'll place down a couple of meal dispensers. Two should be fine to start us off. Plus, we'll need a few mess tables. Of course, by the way, notice that there's kind of these arrows leading up to the structure. That always needs to be an accessible path for your people in order to actually make use of this structure. So make sure you always leave that available. Now, these things don't have food in them right now. They're technically ordering some stock. That's going to get delivered to our underground base via this lift later on. So this should happen all automatically, and your builder bots will take care of you. Okay, with this all taken care of, the committee is now introducing themselves. Let's get down to business. Apparently, Mr. Cobb is uh, a little bit loose with his funds, but these guys want to keep us on track, so they're going to release funds to us only when we achieve our goals, kind of like some missions. 
For now, though, we want to find life in the universe. Yeah, that sounds really easy to do. No problem at all. Well, let's go ahead and hire those scientists I was talking about. We can click on this over here. We see we have Zoe King. All right, I'll go ahead and hire you. Lei Liu, okay, that'll be fine too. And John Rodriguez. All right, so these are the stats for the different characters. You can see we have body, we have mind strength, perception, social, knowledge, and logic. Knowledge, logic, and stuff being especially important for some scientists. Other stats are going to be more important for different classes. For now, though, these three characters should be fine. They're not like amazing at anything in particular, but hopefully we'll be able to train them up eventually. Now, from here, we're going to need to add these guys into some teams. So, if we click on this over here, we can create a new team. And let's go ahead and make this, uh, let's say... E and blue X1, sure, that's fine. We'll go ahead and create that. Okay, so with this team, I can then add people into this, up to three members in a single team, and with a full complement of scientists, we can then start exploring the universe. Let's click on this over here, the star map, with our missions, and we can see this is Earth, and here's some of the other worlds we have discovered. Different worlds are going to have different difficulty levels. Your people will level up over time, so we can access level 2, 3, 4, etc. kind of level planets. For now, we're looking for something relatively easy at level 1. So this should be fine. We can go ahead and connect to this world. Now note, it's going to cost us some energy. The more planets we want to connect, and the further they are away from Earth, the more power we will need to generate. So right now, this will take up 20 of my 50 energy. No problem. Let's go ahead and connect, and then we're going to create a mission, and I'm going to send my XO1 team on this mission like so. Now, while they're working on that, I'm going to go ahead and start preemptively digging out some areas over here, because I know for a fact, at some point, we are going to want to have a fairly large laboratory, so we can go ahead and get to work on this as well. Oh, portal just opened. Okay, everyone should be in position. Go, 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 go! And they are gone. Yep, hopefully they're alive. I assume they're alive. They're definitely alive. They're totally fine. In fact, we'll be hearing from them very soon, I'm sure. Oh, we're actually getting a message. There, see? They're totally fine and alive. All right. Hey, how you doing there? It's King. All right, they stepped through the gate for the first time, and after a moment of dizziness, they're standing on a new planet! How very, very exciting for all of you. Now, I will say, in this game, you do not explore the planets on your own. You send your people out to do that, but you do occasionally have them contact you, and you have to make some decisions remotely on their behalf. This is kind of an introduction into all of that. Thank God you are alive. Amen to that. Absolutely. All right, the place is teeming with plant life, not to mention some weird cloud formations. All right. Well, congratulations. Uh, you just changed the world. Better think of something memorable to say quickly. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> no pressure at all. Oh, she just lost some mental health. Okay, we probably shouldn't be uh, making her feel a lot of anxiety. I think I'm hyperventilating. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. You're doing great. Okay, she got it back. A little encouragement goes a long way. Can I get a steer? Uh, how about this? Um, say something humble. All right, give me a second to regain composure. All right, deep breath. We're just explorers like all those who came before us. With the alien plant life we've discovered here on WP-938, we're simply taking the next logical step into the unknown, building on what we've already learned, living on Earth and the Moon and from our manned missions to Mars. Excellent. That'll go down in history. All right, and, um, you know, that was apparently all streamed to the world, so congratulations. What do we want to do now? Well, we can take up some grass samples, or we can take a risk. You can see there's a 60% chance for both options down here in order to get something else. Let's say we want to explore a cave, for example. Found a piece of moss in a sample jar. Some people lost a bit of mental health, and that's a little dangerous, but we should get some extra rewards for doing all of that. So, excellent, and now we can send them back home. And now that they are back, we can see we did indeed get a bio sample and a few scientific points we'll be able to use later on. In future missions, everything from here on out, people will start gaining experience as they go on these trips. So this is just kind of get us started, but soon we're going to be leveling these guys up to levels 2 and above, and we can start taking on bigger and bigger and more risky challenges. At some point, some planets do present some injury risks, or maybe other threats that we haven't discovered yet, so it's not always going to be safe out there. What I do want to point out is that Zoe King over here is holding on to a bio sample, but currently has nowhere to place it. So let's go ahead and quickly set out some room for a laboratory where I will be able to analyze some of these. So let's see, we can place down a bio sample study desk over here, for example, and then maybe go ahead and set up some storage just across the way, kind of like this. We'll also need to place down some sort of a research desk as well. This is going to be necessary for us to actually perform any big science 
uh, that we'll need to actually unlock new technology. This will have to be okay for now, though. You can see we ran out of power, unfortunately, so something we have to do now is go ahead and create a power room, which is why I was digging this area out. And in here, we'll be able to place down generators, which will give us much-needed power. We'll start off with a very small fusion generator. Something like this should be just fine. We might even want to go ahead and get two of these, because I guarantee you, I'm going to start using up an absolute ton of power. Now, your scientists, if they have nothing to do, are automatically going to be taking those samples that you discover throughout the world. They're going to take it over here, and they're going to start analyzing these things. And with that, you get some extra science points, but you also get something used to make something called patents. Because you see, uh, we need to start making some money. We need to become somewhat self-sufficient, and what we can do that gives us a competitive advantage over literally anyone else on Earth is use some of the uh, different life forms and fauna or whatever that we discovered in the other worlds and develop something new. So we can go ahead and write a patent, right over here, for example, and we've learned a little bit about an energy source. As you start discovering more and more patent uh, theories, you'll be able to start combining these into bigger and better patents that make you money. For now, we only have one uncommon theory. We click over here, and we'll start generating somewhere between $1,214 and $2,429 for the next few months. All right, so let's go ahead and start writing this, and we do need to assign ourselves a quick scientist, so how about, let's say, Zoe King? It is worth noting that certain patents are going to be worth more than others, so uh, this is going to come up a bit later. But as you complete a fiscal year, you're going to see what is going to be trending, what's kind of in demand right now, what's falling by the wayside, that kind of a thing. So sometimes it's worth holding on to your theories to write a really good patent when there's a huge demand in the marketplace. But we're not worried about that right now. I just want to get myself a little bit of cash, and we should be able to see right now if we take a look at some of the patents... Under our research screen, we are making 1265 Okay, so we didn't do a fantastic job there, but at least it is some income. If we want to make more patents, though, we need to go back into the gate, and we can do that. So let's go ahead and find ourselves another decent world, preferably level 1, 25 energy this time. We'll go ahead and get that connected, send off X01, and begin again, looking for more life that we can exploit. I mean, uh, uncover for the benefit of humanity. I'm also going to go ahead and hire up three more scientists and assign them to a second team. That way, we'll be able to start exploring even more stuff a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and send these newbies off to get their feet wet. Oh, there we go. Okay, one more mission done, and all three scientists will turn with some more bio samples. Excellent. That should be like three more theories for me to write some even bigger, better patents. Ah, here's the uh, period budget summary I was talking about. Okay, so you can see in this case, for example, bioweapons are the hot topic right now because, of course, they are. But energy sources, a bit less so. So we'll get less profit out of this. We'd rather focus on bioweapons while they're so hot right now. As tempting as it might be to go ahead and start writing patents all the time, I actually do recommend you try to finish settling up all of your existing biosamples first. The reason for that being, um, you can actually use multiple theories for a single patent, and if you find multiple in the same type, you'll get extra value for effectively the same amount of time. For example, we could actually send both an uncommon and a rare theory in the same patent here for energy sources, and you can see they play on each other to get you a lot more money. It's just a shame that energy apparently is irrelevant to humanity now, so we'll have to wait on that. Now, something we haven't talked about yet is something called claims, and for that, we'll be using a resource called influence. I claimed this world over here, and what you can see is that our borders have effectively grown. We eventually will need to do this when we discover some worlds with special resources on them that we can extract and send back to Earth. It has to be claimed. There will also be some competition for claims a little bit later, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and spoil some things. For now, just understand that that is something you can do. That's what this symbol represents up over here. But I'm not in a rush to claim too much stuff right now. Let's go ahead and spend some of our extra power, connect up a couple more worlds, and send more missions. Godspeed, folks! All of humanity and our corporation is most assuredly counting on you. They'll be fine, I'm sure. Early game, honestly, exploration, not that bad. But as I said, there are risks at some point when you get to high-level worlds. For example, this is a level 7 world over here. If we connected to this, I'll bet you it would show us there would actually be a fair bit of risks associated with this. A pretty good injury chance, or maybe even some people could die. Yeah, that would be terrible. Oh, we're getting a communication. All right, hopefully everything's okay. We have a massive thing in sight. We're not sure what it is, but it could be a skeleton. What kind of skeleton? A human one? Oh my. If only we had an engineer that we had brought on this mission, we would have a special type of a choice uh, to explore this planet. 
But we haven't unlocked engineers yet, but what this does kind of lead you to understand is that you will be able to mix and match scientists with different groups like soldiers, engineers, medics, etc. and send them on missions, and sometimes that's going to be the best thing to do. Um, I don't know which choice we want to go for, so let's say... Maybe get some uh, altitude and allow for observation. They'll call back later. Okay. All right, they got some news. Cool. The view above is neat. We can now say the skeleton is a primate, or at least close to one. There's also a big hole in the rib cage. Hmm. Maybe I should stay silent and let them hypothesize. We'll find out soon enough. If only we had a scholar. What do you think? It must have died from an impact. All right, fair enough. But how, though? We'll never know. All right, well, that's beyond what we were able to analyze. Unfortunately, I don't think you can go back to some planets uh, when you've already gone through these events. So we really will actually never know. But having a diverse team really can be helpful when you run into special events kind of like that. Oh, got ourselves a good pattern now. Okay, energy sources are in vogue again. So uh, all of a sudden, we're making an extra 4,000 or so coming out of this. That's fantastic. And I do think we want to write up another one of these while it is uh, a good idea. So let's go ahead and start working on that next. The important thing is, though, now we do have a scientist team that is all level 2. So we can start accessing level 2 worlds and feel relatively safe about that. You do gain experience as you analyze things in these uh, research desks or as you write out patents. So anyone who's lagging behind might be a good opportunity to go ahead and start doing some extra chores around the house. Now you'll notice we've stacked up about 180 of these science points. If you click on the research and patent screen over here, we will be able to spend these to unlock some additional things. We've already got everything we can get in the barracks and in the mess hall, but if we went to the laboratory, we could spend a bit extra to unlock, let's say, specimen study, if we actually discovered something besides plants. Not there yet, but we will be at some points. We can also get upgrades in the power plants, bigger generators, that kind of thing. Or we can start unlocking new stuff. For example, I probably should go ahead and unlock the med bay. So let's go ahead and start working on that. And as you can see, a spare scientist comes over here to the research lab and gets to work. That's now done. We get almost everything in the med bay. There's also a special intensive care unit that we'll be able to unlock at some point, but that's kind of a ways away. I do want to unlock the training room. Need a little bit more science from that first, though. So we'll wait until the team comes back from their latest trip through the gates. Oh, and actually, two people got injured in this run on a level 2 planet. Okay, see, that's all the more reason we needed to have things like the med bay. Okay, so with that known then, um, let's go ahead and pause for a second. We need to set ourselves up a quick med room over here. I already had one dug out and ready to go. We should also consider hiring a medic, and quickly. Um, we don't want to spend an absolute ton on this, and I want to have, like, maybe one or two candidates, honestly. Anything excessive just isn't worth my time. So let's see, who do we have? Probably want somebody with, like, reasonably good, like, social and perception skills would be my guess, but I don't see that as an option. So, okay, logic, knowledge, and mind strength, I guess we'll have to do for now. We'll go ahead and hire you. Welcome to the team. Could add you into a team if we're willing to pull a scientist off, but I'm not worried about that right now. For now, we need Rina Tanaka in order to actually help us, you know, heal our people. I'm also going to go ahead and hire a quick soldier. I shouldn't need very many. Uh, we'll go ahead and reduce those wages just a bit. And we'll spend less on this. A couple of candidates probably going to be fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves a soldier. That's the next thing we'll have to do. Go on a dangerous mission and actually have soldiers available instead of just scientists. Scientists, you know, notoriously bad at defending themselves from threats. I have unlocked a training room, so we can go ahead and start getting this set up. This is going to give people an opportunity for a little bit of recreation with some physical weights. Also, a chance for people who are not actively working to start building up some of their extra stats. So they can start building up, let's say, their body. We also will be able to get a shooting range so people can train themselves that way, too. Uh, no matter what, this is a good thing for me. We can research that specimen study. I guess that's the next thing we should work on. Haven't actually found any specimens yet, but I'm hoping to change that. Aha! We actually did apparently capture some sort of a specimen! Excellent, it makes to be some sort of fish. Fine with me, I like fish. Fish are great. Go ahead and toss it in the chamber. Alright, completing that mission for our corporate committee actually got me another $20,000. So we're starting to turn a profit. Not, not a massive one, mind you, but we are starting to turn a bit of a profit. Lay, you doing okay there? You're starting to look a little bit twitchy, bud. Mm, but another communication. Yar! Go! Oh, good God! What's going on over there? Exo, come in! Uh, I can't hear you. Not us screaming. Move away. Wait a minute. Okay, there's apparently something else screaming at them. It's a bunch of flowers. God, you scared me. Cut them down or back off. How about we just back off from them? Tactical retreat. 
Okay, we're heading away. Give us a minute. Yeah, um, okay. Interesting. Uh, I, I, I thought the worst was about to happen there. You scared me, King. I'm glad I was just a bunch of weird, screamy flowers. Okay, apparently picking them was a bad idea because a lot of people just lost so much mental health they had a mental breakdown. Right, uh, that's not- they did not like that at all, apparently. This is- this is bad. Okay, so we bas- okay, right, yeah. We- we basically just found, um, what are they called? Mandrakes? Yeah, we definitely found, like, some mandrakes. Alright, excellent find, totally worth the, um, science, I'm sure. Um, I'd love to heal people, but we didn't bring along a medic, so, uh... Yeah, um, finish what you're doing and then head back home. Don't worry, John Rodriguez, it's gonna be fine. Not only are our medicals licensed medical professionals, but they're also talented therapists. We'll get you diagnosed in no time flat, you'll be fine. So while they're getting recovered, the next big thing I need to work on is a workshop, and that's something I'm currently researching over here at the cost of 400 science. Reason for that is, one, the committee demands it, but two, we have discovered a world over here, UG440, which apparently is going to have some sort of materials for us. I like this idea. We'll go ahead and connect here at the cost of some power. So, no known environmental threats. I mean, that's good. Um, what we probably need to do, though, is consider hiring a couple of engineers. Let's hire up a couple of those engineers I've been talking about. Uh, we only really need, like, two, so I guess I just go for whatever's cheap and fast and gets me two decent candidates. And with these engineers, we shall start space mining! So, Nicholas Brown, welcome to the team. We'll go ahead and put you on X01. And there's actually some materials up over here not terribly far away. Probably safer than some other options at level 2. Let's go ahead and connect here, send a mission, and uh, it was X01, I think, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and send these guys off. And we need to, of course, claim some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and preemptively claim this planet, and then once we've explored here, we can grab it and start extracting. Good luck, folks. This shall usher in a new era of prosperity for Earth. Yes. All right, over here in the workshop, what do we need? Apparently, we need to get ourselves a workbench, which would make a bit of sense. We'll probably get ourselves one over here. We want to get ourselves an iron ore storage, or just some sort of an ore storage system, and then some sort of an analysis system for that same ore. All right, easy enough. Oh, shoot! Rodriguez just died! Uh, okay, we wanted to just get an ore sample, but apparently there was a solar storm and, um, ro yeah, Rodriguez is dead. Well, that's gonna make a lot of people sad. Right, okay, um, you know, uh, mm, yeah, it's, it's fine, I guess. Um, we can hire a replacement. No one will even remember that Rodriguez existed soon enough. Right, well, let's go ahead and take that ore sample that Rodriguez died for. We'll go ahead and toss him in the machine and let it start analyzing. Hopefully it's something valuable and totally worth the wasted lives. Look, that was a level 2 planet, okay? It shouldn't have been that dangerous, at least I thought it wouldn't be. Turns out uh, that, uh, you know, space is hazardous. Who would have guessed? That must be worth something, because Rudy Cobb got all excited. There must be potential in these rocks. Alright, if we want to establish some kind of an invasive mining operation. Oh, I absolutely do. I absolutely would love to start an invasive mining operation. For Rodriguez, of course, in his name. That's what he would have wanted. Okay, I've got three engineers who work for me now. And I think we can actually go ahead and create a whole new team that's dedicated just for engineering and extraction. I think that's going to be the way to go. So if we go back to this world here, we can assign the team. Oh, but I need the basic ore processing tech first. Dang it. All right, that means I need 200 science. I'm so close. There's the ore storage. Okay, let's try that one again. We are going to assign my engineering team. R relatively difficult, apparently. How long teams will rest in the base between missions? Uh, how about how about you get a full week of vacation and uh, recouping time in between mining sessions? No idea how much they're going to bring back for us, but hopefully it ends up being a pretty hefty amount. Notice, by the way, that there's some new stuff that appeared on the HUD up over here. So we've got Asteroid, we've got Maglum, Exonium, and Cobium. What, after Ruby Cobb? Ah, uh, that's just vain, okay. Well, there's more that we apparently need to be doing over here, so we're gonna need to get ourselves some raw ore storage of some sort. And we also need to get ourselves a foundry. Foundry, you say? Oh my, it takes 500 power. Well, that's expansive. There we go. Okay, the team did bring back some raw ore. Okay, so that's now gonna be stored up in the workshop. Excellent! So our engineers should be leveling up and getting us more and more kilograms of raw ore. What kind of ore did we get, though? I wonder. Probably the same stuff for Asteril. Now, see, this is interesting. So, I've now run into something out there. Um, some giant mechanical ten-armed things. Not octopuses, some sort of squid things. 
Uh, and they are definitely actively getting to gates that I'm already in and hunting down my people somehow. Can we shut them down? It looks like the answer is they are too advanced. Get back to the gates. Uh, form up on me. Wait, they're coming through the gate. Is that ours? Oh, gosh. They've got their own exogates. Oh, God. This is how they evade our scans. Drop everything and run. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have found signs of hostile alien life. And Ruby Cobb, of course, is all for just keeping it hush-hush and not letting the corporation know because they might just shut this whole thing down. Yeah, we couldn't have that now, could we? That would be... That would be a disaster. Oh, man. What's that? Everything just turned red. Hold on. Red? Soldiers? Do I need some sol- Are we about to be attacked? Oh, the gate just opened without our permission. Um, oh boy, what's coming through the gate? Okay, yup, sure enough. Weird little things are indeed coming through. We are literally under attack. Right, um, is there a red alert button or something? Because I could really benefit from a certain red alert button. Soldiers, what am I paying you for? Well, unfortunately, I have absolutely no idea how to get my soldiers to actually, like, go do anything, which is kind of obviously a problem. Because what they're doing is they're getting in here, they're destroying a bunch of my generators. And these are kind of expensive and important to, like, not lose. So, scarbs, huh? There's apparently a way to stop them. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, dear. It looks like you have to just kind of let them run their course. They destroyed a couple of generators, and now they're going to make a run for it. So, is this just a thing you can't avoid, but it's gonna come through and occasionally just destroy stuff as, like, punishment? Uh, maybe. They end up destroying three generators, and at the end of the day, is that the worst thing ever? No, it's not good. It's not the worst thing ever. Oh, on the other side, though, we are actually starting to process some of the Asteril over here. So, in the foundry, the raw ore is being processed and dropped off into some special storage over here. Nice! And we can sell this stuff if we want to to make some extra cash. There's even a material market price, which right now, you know, not looking great, but if we wanted to sell off, let's say, four units, we could almost get what we're supposed to do. I need to make 10 units of this stuff, so we still got a ways to go. But yeah, this is definitely one way of making a lot of extra money. When patents are no longer enough and science isn't enough to make uh, humans happy, all you gotta do is just conquer a whole bunch of these worlds. Now, before we end things, one more thing I wanna point out. There is a special world over here with a special alien symbol on it. Yes, yes, there are aliens over here. We could connect this and try to introduce ourselves. Ideally, this is where I'm sure you're going to want to have the diplomat class of unit, which I don't have unlocked as of yet. Maybe a scholar, I don't know. Uh, or maybe even send some soldiers and go kill them all. I have no idea what you're supposed to do. I just know that this is something that can happen. And there are multiple alien races in the game. And this is one of the reasons you actually want to be claiming sectors in order to try and say, hey, this is mine, aliens. Don't you try to take it. But yeah, we should be able to interact with several different alien races out here in the map at some point or another. And the reason that's important is look down over here. There's another button we haven't touched yet. Aliens and artifacts. Haven't introduced ourselves yet but we will be able to detect lots of different alien artifacts and try to give ourselves some buffs if we bring these back to Earth. We want to be just like the British and get a pretty awesome artifact collection. Probably at the expense of the aliens, if I'm being completely honest with you, but they don't need to know that. Anyway, guys, that is a look at Exogate Initiative. As you can see, there are dark, nasty things in the world out there, and things can get a little bit hectic, and we've really barely been scratching the surface as far as what the galaxy has to offer for us. And there's a lot more research we're gonna need to do as well that will make us so much more effective. Oh, look, an armory and security and stuff. Oh, this is probably what I'm supposed to do. There's a guard post. Oh, it all makes sense now. Okay, I just didn't have the research I needed. Anyway, I want to once again say thanks to Xenobits for sponsoring this video, and thank all of you for watching this video and hopefully leaving a like or a comment. If you guys like what you see and you want to learn more about Exogate Initiative, there is still that link in the description down below. My name is Provis. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.